Good afternoon, class. Way to be late, everyone. We're gonna start with roll call. Derek Van Gryten Schruten. Uh, it, it's, it's growing. Grow. Yeah. Riley Samus. Present. Nels Home Quitter. Nels. Here, sorry. Pups. Jeremy Brown. Always a pup. All right, kids. Welcome to Departmentals 101. I'm Professor Briggs. I teach Departmentals 101. This is a class for all the pups so they can learn the musics to become a part of the bathtub dogs. Things we teach in Departmentals 101 are stuffs like uh, the discovery of the Panano that's important to the history of music. I also teach things like how music works, like crescandos, decrescandos, sesaforzandos. Everything is incredible in music. Um, I also teach things like uh, in important figures in music history, like Francis Scott Keys, Ernest Hemingway. And then I teach people how to sing the musics. Time signatures. This is the first thing we see in music. We always see numbers in front of our music. The first thing we see is the four over four. We must ask ourselves two questions, everyone. Two specific questions. The number of the measures, how many times? So this top four indicates number of measures. The bottom four indicates how many times. Hey, I'm, I'm Derek Roadhouse. Uh, I'm in this year's pup class. Um, you know, before I came to the Bathtub Dogs or to Departmentals 101, I was second chair violin in the Omaha Symphony Orchestra. But uh, as you can see, I kind of hurt my arm and, and now I'm back in the pup class of, of the Bathtub Dogs. And, and honestly, it, it's just humiliating. Hi, I'm Riley Smith. Uh, I'm new to Departmentals 101 and I'm just absolutely flabbergasted by how much I'm learning in the first day. Uh, Mr. Brooks is an excellent professor. Uh, he taught me about Forte Crescendos and what a Panano was, and I was really confused at first, but after he explained the concept and the origin of a piano, I, Panano is, oh, I keep saying it wrong. I do that all the time. I'm still trying to learn. Is that recording? What? I thought this was Ken. How many times do we do the song? One time. We've seen the song one Dumb. Jeremy, can you please tell them how many times we sing the song? Um, I'm pretty sure you're just teaching the whole thing wrong, so... Shut up! Hey, I'm Jeremy. Uh, apparently I've been a pup forever. I don't really know why I'm here. I know music pretty well. Um, but I suppose I'll just go with the flow instead of causing some dramatic scene. Um, I'm sent to the dunce circle a lot, so, yeah, there's a lot that goes on here. Jeremy, you'll never understand. Go to the dunce circle. <sighs> now, the discovery of the piano in 184 six. What's founded by For Francis seven Scott. quarter notes? Seven quarter notes. <sighs> quarter note. Silently. Quarter. By Francis Scott. The purpose of the Dunn Circle is to show pups how puppy they are. They must be trained, they must be disciplined, and they must be rewarded. I've yet to give out rewards, but they're there. Uh, Jeremy Brown is my most complicated student. Sometimes I don't even think he speaks English, but he's been in this class for many years, and I even think he has his skin prints on the board from how many times he's been in the dunce circle. The most important thing... Order no! As I was saying, the most important thing about time signatures is having a good signature. 
So at the end of your numbers, at the end of the musics, you write your signature. Does everyone... Yes, Derek? It has nothing to do with music at all. It's a signature! At the end of the day, this class is necessary. Harriet Tubman once said there is no such thing as a dumb question. I say there is. Pups are not educated in the world of musics, and they need someone to instruct them. The bathtub dogs are a very elite group full of professionals and smart peoples, and someone needs to train them. And so at the end of this class, they rightfully become bathtub dogs. But for now, they're pups, and they need to learn. Pups.